How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Bobby Six Killer. Welcome back to Zero Escape VLR. Now we got uh, in the last ending. Last time we got the Clover ending plus this bad ending here. I noticed there's a few uh, things we can do f considering endings we've had or headed towards before. So we're gonna finish off this one and this one before we move on to these big piles that we haven't touched that are gonna involve puzzle rooms and stuff. <laughs> this one might as well, but who knows? Let's just jump in and see what happens next. Oh, the two-headed lion. I don't have the answer for that. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, no. All right, so we're going to kick off from here. From this one here, because it looks like we can go further down now. How can Phi and K be saved with the injection gun? Let's do it. Shit. They're not here. Maybe they did go through the door, like K said. We can skip ahead a wee bit. And then we'll figure out this ending, which will probably be a whole character ending. The first is an anesthetic called Soparil Bear. Here we go. The other is a muscle relaxant called Tubal Cura Ring. Your bracelet also has a bunch of needles on the inside. Very exciting, yes, if thank you. If you break the rules, those needles hop out and inject you. My brother told me about that. Neostigmine is a type of cholinesterase inhibitor. That means it's sort of an antidote for tubocurine. I knew it! Give it back. I found it so it's mine. Of course. The antidote. The antidote? I didn't have time to explain. I took off running toward the exit. What's gonna Sigma, happen now? Where are you going? Stay here. I'll be right back. I bolted out of the warehouse toward the treatment set, treatment room. Here we go. I think Dio put it in his pocket. Come on, come on, come on. Please still have it. Oh, that's right, Dio's dead. Sweat was pouring down my face, but I didn't bother to wipe it off. There wasn't any time. I dug frantically through Dio's coat until... Aha! Found it! Oh. There's only one dose. The injection gun uses a whole bottle at once. Shit, I can't save both of them. Who are, we, sir, who are we choosing between? One minute remains until chromatic doors close. Are we gonna vote? One minute, shit! I spun around and shot out of the treatment center. Three, two, chromatic doors closing. Oh, we did. No, you gotta be kidding me. Oh dear. Sigma. There was a sharp, quick pain in my wrist. Barely even noticeable. I couldn't feel anything flowing into my veins, but I knew it was there. First would be the anesthetic soparil. I blinked and my vision started to blur. When I tried to think, it felt like my mind had been stuffed with cotton. My legs began to wobble, then gave out entirely as I crumpled to the floor. We can save ourselves. No, I couldn't fall asleep. I had to give one of them the antidote before my bracelet injected me with turbo curing. With every ounce of my strength I could muster, I forced my eyes back open. K and Phi lay limp on the floor in front of me. In my right hand I could feel the injector gun with its precious cargo. I could only pull the trigger once. Who was I going to choose? Phi or K? What was I thinking? There's only one answer. Why? I didn't even have a choice. After all, Kay's entire body was covered in impenetrable metal. I'm sorry, Kay. I summoned up as much energy as I could and dragged myself towards Phi. After what felt like an eternity, I was finally within an arm's reach. With no time to waste, I pressed the gun to her arm and pulled the trigger. S 
Sigma, what the hell did you... Injectivity with Neo Stigmine. It's a type of cholinesterate inhibitor. It's the antidote to the muscle relaxant. Why relaxing. did you pick me? Because I can't use the injection get on K. I'll never get through then the metal. Why didn't you inject yourself? Clearly it never crossed my mind. Ha! <laughs> Guess you got a point. Honestly, it didn't even cross my mind. You're the biggest idiot on the planet. Thank you. Hey, come on. Is there any kind of thing to say to somebody who's about to die? How about something more tender? No. Screw this. I don't want to live if it means being in debt to you. Dude, I'll be dead anyway. Why matter? No goddamn way. I'm not gonna... Her words slurred and slowed, her eyes flooded closed. She wasn't dead, of course. I could hear the faint sound of her breathing and still see her chest rise and fall. Good, Vi's gonna be alright, but Kay... I looked over in his direction. That was when I noticed it. Open? There's a hole here on the back of your head. Looks like you insert something. It says open. Maybe if you put some kind of key in there? You could open up the suit and take the mask off. But it's been turned to open. Wait, then he... But... When could he have... It's empty. Yes. Was there something in there before? No. It was empty when I found it. Well, what if he lied? Could Kay have taken the key? How had he gotten it? How he got in it didn't really matter anymore. What did matter was Kay was able to remove his armor. And he had. <laughs> Holy shit! Then that would mean. Dio's killer is. I coaxed as much strength as I could from my increasingly lethargic body and crawled towards Kay. <laughs> Kay! Wake up! Come on, talk to me! I grabbed his shoulder and shook him until fi he finally shifted and spoke. Sigma. I just need to know one thing. Did you kill Dio? You weren't sleeping, were you? After I left, you took off your armor. You didn't want to go the same way I had. You shook the other door. You took the other door. After you went the long way around through the warehouse and crew quarters, you headed for the elevator. And you left your armor there, so we thought you were sleeping. But it was just hollow armor. I bumped into Fi, and we went back to the lounge to check on you. We saw you, or well, we saw your armor, I guess. By then you would have been out of it. While we were in the lounge, you were at the treatment center and room and killed Dio. He must have turned off the oxygen to his pod, though he probably didn't stick around to make sure he died. I'm betting you were in a hurry to get back before fire and I noticed something was up. Once you got back to floor A, you needed us out of the lounge, so you made a noise in the hall to lure us out. Then you ran around, took the long way to the lounge so you could enter through the rear door. You murdering bastard. At least you killed Dio. I can forgive that. <laughs> Once you were there, you put your suit on again and waited for us. As soon as we found Dio's body, we did exactly what you'd expect. Okay, wake up! Something's happened! You pretend to wake up very disoriented and confused. What is it? Come on, Kay. I'm almost out of time. Did you kill Dio? <clears throat> yes. Your reasoning is correct. I... I killed him. Why? Because I couldn't forgive him. He took the life of someone very important to me. The old lady? I couldn't... Who did he kill? The... The old woman. What? She was like... A mother to me. She showed me how to see... To see meaning in my life. Wait, are you saying? Yes, I am. She was the one who came here when I was 18. 
Whoa, hold on. What do you mean here? Sigma. Unfortunately, we are out of time. Oh, I remember his backstory. That's right. His dad was a scientist or something. And then there was a lady who played his mum for a bit, who was a lab assistant or whatever. That's her. That's the old lady. There's something I have to tell you. I made a promise that you would hear it. Do you understand? This is very important. I'm listening. You must pay attention. You cannot forget. Okay, okay, go. Forget? He wasn't making sense. I was about to die. How on earth would I remember anything for more than a few seconds? Because he knows that we can remember other timelines. If you see a lion with two heads. Oh my god. Devouring the sun. Remember. Remember these letters. Yeah. M I L K E V O L I. I don't have a freaking pen. Milky Voli. I don't have a pen. I need a pen. Hang on a second while I try and get a pen. You know, I always. I'm always unprepared. M I L K E V O L I. We know where to use that already. This will open the second gate. What the hell? Hey, Kay, who told you to tell me this? No, who are you? Show me. Show me who you really are. I grabbed a hold of Kay's mask and tore it off. What? No, that's... It's impossible. Wait, who is it? A face. It, it's my face. I felt a sharp pain in my left wrist. My body collapsed unceremoniously. The second drug. Turbocurine. My vision began to blur and my head felt unnaturally heavy. Wasn't there a choice here? Or no? The world faded away and my consciousness slipped down into the cold, dark waters of nothingness. That was intense. How was his face our face? Okay, that must be K-End, right? K-End. Alright. Fabulous. We're filling it out. 24 spots left. We need to go over here. And jump in. Skip. Skip ahead. Can we not? Yes, we can. Oh, we don't have his ID. We only know the password. Shit. Shit. Can we just put K? I don't think so. Alright, we're not ready for this yet then. I don't know what the ID would be. Alright, well we'll jump back into the next thing then. That's obviously like the true end. Once we get enough information to clear that, I think that'll be the true end. But at the moment we don't have that. So we're going to take one of these longer piles that we've got waiting for us. Oh, we got this one as well, and we're not ready for that. We take one of these longer piles. So we need to betray here. And that will take us onto one of these other branching piles. Let's skip ahead. Betray! I betray thee.
His fired eye stepped out of the AB room. I could see the others running toward the projection. Shoving and pushing to get closer. Well, you chose what I wanted you to choose. I guess I should say thanks. So, uh... Thanks. Shove it. Oh, come on. You don't need to do that. I just made the obvious, obvious. choice. Well, I'm sure Alice chose Betray. That meant we pretty much had to choose Betray, right? How do you know what she's going to choose? I guess you could say I just know. Are you making fun of me? Maybe. Yo! What's up? What's up? Fuck off. Ziggy! I know! Hey! Don't do I'm that at... again. Let's go. We'll find out if you made the right choice. We're right back at the start again. But this goddamn bunny asshole. Good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally. Let's get ready to rock! If everybody would. Yeah, yeah, same old crap. How many times do I have to listen to your goddamn voice, buddy man? Bring it. Okay. What the hell? Dio and Quark's group allied. Here I've never seen that happen before. From your game. It seems uncharacteristic. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. <laughs> hey Alice, what the hell is this? What? You chose Betray last time. So I, I chose Betray too. No, wait. Wait a minute. Last time? What on earth are you talking about? Um, can you tell me one thing? What? When exactly did you press the button? Five minutes before the deadline. There's that announcement, right? I pressed it right after that. Why? What? No, that can't be. What was going on? When Fire and I chose Ally, Alice picked Betray. I just made the most rational choice. The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose Betray. Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well, an idiot. Well, this time I chose Betray, and her vote changed to Ally. Why? What was different? Had history somehow changed because of my choice? No, that was insane. If Alice had somehow known that I'd chosen Betray, and chosen Ally in response, at least that would have followed the principle of cause and effect. I can't stop coughing today. But what had just happened was something entirely different. There was no Alice, no way Alice could have known what we would choose when she made a decision. Besides, if she had known we intended to betray her, there's no way she would have chosen Ally. Well, no shit, Sherlock. In other words, she must have made a decision without any knowledge of ours. Of course she didn't know ours! How the fuck would she know ours? Yeah, say we're talking about a game of rock, paper, scissors. I throw out a rock. Right after that, Alice throws down paper. Obviously I lose. So I go back in time and decide to whip out the scissors this time. This time Alice chooses rock. I lose again. But that's fine, because it still makes sense. My actions of the past cause Alice's actions of the future. Easy. But what had just happened in the AB game wasn't like that. Let's get back to that innocent game of rock, paper, scissors. This time Alice is the one who threw out her hand first. But in this situation, there's no way for me to know what it is. So I decided to go with rock. Now Alice's choice is revealed. Turns out she went with... Paper. Damn it. I lose, and I'm pissed off. So once again I go back in time to try and change history and erase my loss. What will I choose this time? It's not even a question. Scissors, obviously. After all, last time Alice went with paper. Here's the important part. When I make this choice, Alice has already made her choice. Sure of my victory, I throw out a pair of scissors. But... What the hell? My rage would be white hot. How could this have happened? Why? Alice's hand had been paper before? How did it change to rock? Obviously, there's no cause and effect here, since Alice's choice was in the past and mine was in the future. How could that even happen? 
Back in the future influenced the past, but... It wasn't theoretical now. This had actually happened. What the hell is going on? No, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Why the fuck was I taking, talking so casually about going back in time? That kind of stuff doesn't happen in real life. Right, of course, time travel is impossible. There's absolutely, positively no way to travel through time. But, if there was trip. The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose betray. Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well, an idiot. That's a very harsh way of looking at things. Hey, did you have a stroke or something? Besides, oh, sorry. Why do I have to answer your questions? I should be the one yelling at you. Because of you two, I've only got one VP left. Yeah, you're, you're right. right. What in God's name is wrong with you? I'm sorry. Really, I seriously feel terrible Forget about this. It. I'm never going to trust you or Fi again. You'll pay for this. Alice stormed off. She threw one last hurt, scornful look over her shoulder as she left. It stabbed me right through the heart. One of the other teams seemed to be dealing with a similar issue. I really don't know what I can say. We had no idea you would choose Ally. No way I'd choose Betray. Not with Clover on the other side. What? What do you mean? Do you have an interest in Clover? Probably because she's attached to Akane? What? And no, he's attached no, to Akane that's somehow? Not what is it then? Well, um... You'd have to be crazy to pick Ally. The only way it'd make any sense to do that is if you really, really trusted the other person. So you're saying you don't trust me then? Duh! Are you senile? Why the hell would I trust some old geezer I just met a few hours ago? Ah. Uh, I see. Say no more. Didn't think it'd hurt this much. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You're starting to get kind of creepy. <laughs> creepy, huh? I understand. I guess I just haven't had enough time to earn your trust. Um, I suppose you could say that. I just didn't really expect you to be so nice about it. Well, looks like well, those guys hopefully you feel really bad. All right. Figure that means the fault here has got to be mine. Huh? Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't worry about it. We only did what anybody else would do, right, Mr. Dio? Yeah, exactly. That's not like Dio, that's the weirdest part. Dio, Quark, and Luna, on the other hand, seem to have resolved things amicably by choosing Ally. No doubt we were all wishing we'd done the same. But why Dio sounded so awkward? What had happened in the AV room? Only Dio and Quark knew for sure. Er. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's let- Not this again. Skippy, skip, skip. Okay, after much skipping, we're finally back. Much skipping. And I mean a lot of skipping. No new dialogue, basically. There was two lines, maybe, but nothing that really revealed any that revealed anything of interest. So we're gonna cut all that out. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. But we're gonna be going into our next uh, puzzle room. Hey, the doors are open. We need to figure out who's gonna go through which door. <laughs> What are your opinions this time? Options, Pay attention. Though. I'm only saying this once. Just like the last time, we've got three possible combinations. Go. If I quickly laid out our choices. Option A, Luna and I pair up with Clover and go through the green door. Timioji and Dio pair up with Alice and Kay and Quark with Fi. Option B, Luna and I pair up with Fi. Timioji and Dio and Clover. Kay, Quark and Alice. Luna and I and Alice, Timioji and Dio, Hey Quark and Clover. Okay, Alice will go with us though. Three mi Okay, how do we well, do this? Well, you decided the first time, right? Yeah. Then can I decide this time? Why you? I think you? I deserve it. I only have one BP left. Doesn't it seem like the fair thing is to let the person who's at the greatest disadvantage choose? Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. That means you should get to choose too. I mean, 
You've only got one VP, right? You've got a point. But how about we listen to what Alice wants first? So tell us, which door and which people do you want? The green door. And I want to go with Kay and Quark. I see. And who does that put us with? Uh, with Fly. Option B, then. That means Tenmyoji and Dio will go with Clover through the blue door. Is that alright with you, Tenmyoji? Yeah, sure. Not a well, Why? If we go through there together, that means you'll be playing against me in the next A-B game. Are you really, really sure? Oh yeah, I'm sure. Matter of fact, that's why I want to go with you. You said you didn't trust me, right? Well, I'd like to change your mind. I figure this will give me the chance. Um... I've been wanting to pair up with Alice, too. There's something I want to talk to you about. Oh. And that is? We'll get to that later. Come on, Dean. Anyway, Alice's first choice would be option B, then? Yes. What about the rest of you? Is that okay, too? I thought about it for a moment. I went with option B, then Luna and I would go through the red door with Pike. As far as how I felt about that, yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't so have I... any problems with it. There were no objections. And we're all set. Let's go, everybody. Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Nine, eight. Seven. Come on then. Let's not fart about like we always do. God, we always leave everything to the last second. We nod it quickly to one another and split up. Kay, Quark and Alice headed for the green door, while Timmy, OG, Dio and Clover ran to the blue one. My feet slapped against the hard metal of the warehouse floor, and Luna, Fire and I ran to the red chromatic door, and the next stage of the non game. Two. One. Zero. Chromatic. Yeah, yeah. Loves the sound of her own voice. What room are we going to be in now? How many more rooms can there possibly be? Huh? Is this a dead end? Every door seem to be locked. Yeah, looks like it. I wonder what this thing is. It looks like the thing next to the number nine door. It's got a lever. Try pulling it, Sigma. <laughs> what should it I? It might be dangerous. Maybe it'll trigger an explosion. Or possibly it shocks you when you pull it. Who knows? Right. Then I have no choice. You really think I'd say that, you heartless monster? There's nothing on the either on either side, is What's there? What's that supposed to mean? Sorry for the confusion. I was talking about your breasts. <sighs> It's called dressing modestly. I'll have you know I'm a C cup. If you're a C cup, then I'm packing 12 inches. <laughs> we continue in that vein for some time until. <laughs> if you're a C cup, I'm packing 12 inches. What? Huh? <laughs> it sounded like you two might take a while, so I pulled the lever. Thanks. Is that okay? Only the one on the left opened. The others are still shut tight. Well, we should get going anyway. Yeah. Yup. I don't think we've ever been in this room. Ever. What is this place? It looks like some kind of control room. I can see a huge machine of some sort on the other side of this window. Maybe a generator? Right, well, let's split up and have a look around. We need cards with the moon on them for the next AB game, right? Yeah. They're probably in this well, room let's somewhere. Get started. In the safe. Alright, well, we need to wrap this episode up because we're out of time for today. But we will do the whatever place this is. I don't even know. What is this place? The control room. We'll do the control room in the next one. Don't know if you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next episode.